The heat is affecting Gauteng's water supply with the level of the Val Dam dropping to below 50%. Now, the water department is saying the Val Dam's water level having dropped to 50% is lower than what it was at the same time last year. The department said there's no need to panic yet and Gauteng's day zero is not yet on the horizon. Well, to uh, explain all of this to us and tell us if this is the case, we're joined in the studio by Mr. Eddie Singo, an executive director from Rand Water. Eddie, good morning. Thank you very much for coming in. Good morning, Tate Moyani and the uh, viewers of ENCA. Yeah, are you guys having lots of sleepless nights at Rand Water with this news that the Val Dam has dropped below 50%? Look, the, the sleepless nights that we're having at the moment are really more about uh, the consumers themselves than the Val Dam. And let me explain that. You, you remember in the past few months we've been urging our consumers to use water sparingly. Of course, we are a, a very dry country. We don't have as much water as people think we've got. We import a lot of water from Lesotho Highlands. Now, with this shutdown, the maintenance that is currently happening, it then calls for people to use water sparingly. But what we are seeing is that uh, our consumers are using water as if it's normal. You would you'd be surprised that in this period we've, we've recorded uh, the highest consumption ever. Uh, that won't be surprising, though, because of the heat wave. I mean, wish. it's been very hot but, recently. But, but the issue is we are requesting people to use water sparingly because of the heat wave plus the maintenance work that is happening. And therefore, you're expecting that consumption to, to go down. So that, that's, that's what we, we really want to urge our people to and you are saying we as consumers are not responding to your call that you've been making for some time now, recently. We continue as if it's business as usual. It, it is business as usual. Um, just yesterday around uh, the afternoon, drove past one of the areas, sprinklers are on. And why would you have sprinklers at 12 o'clock in the afternoon in the scorching sun? And so you're just wasting that water. That, that, that's that's a not very smart thing to do. But in as far as the dam is concerned, um, the warnings that we, we got right prior to the shutdown of the 1st of uh, October, we, we knew... This is the shutdown in Lesotho. This, the shutdown uh, the in Lesotho, Lesotho Highlands. Were, Correct. Where they're busy with their own maintenance. We, yeah. Yes. Now, maintenance on its own is very disruptive. Yes. So we, we knew that we are not going to get water from Lesotho into, into our dams. Now, the 50% that is being recorded at the moment, it is the figure that is expected by now. So it's nothing that should be alarming us. So we are still expecting that, that graph to go below the last year's figures until the 30th of November. Now, when do we start panicking? We start panicking far below 16% of Valdem level. But are you, you must be hoping that uh, we get the summer rains coming uh, sooner than later and there should be good rains of, in, uh, of to, to help that level not to drop further and further. Oh, of course. But, but, but again, uh, the, the, the department has got mitigating uh, factors. Remember that as soon as we get to levels that are uncomfortable, and I think at the moment they're looking at 22%, then we open water from Sterkfontein. I was about to ask, which, which other, yes. Yes, which other uh, contingency, which other yes. uh, second options have you we got? That, that is the Sterkfontein. Then they, that water would then be released into... Do you know at to, what level is Sterkfontein currently? Look, the, the system, uh, and, and maybe it's important that uh, people understand, the system, we call it the integrated value river system it is uh, constituted by about 14 dams and now with the, that system is still sitting at about 62 six, between 62 and 64 percent as a system on average as a system on average okay. which means there are transfers that can be done uh, between and amongst dams themselves so water has been held back at the moment uh, in Lesotho what the water that has been held back after the maintenance has been completed the understanding is that that will still be coming through to to the day when are we expecting that uh, lesotho highlands water maintenance to be completed it, it is expected to be completed by the 30th of november
Okay, up so, to the end of November. Correct. So that water is being held back, so it's being stored on our behalf, so to speak. That's correct. And, and, and it makes perfect sense. Um, in actual fact, you know, even under normal circumstances, you don't want a lot of water uh, in the Valdem because the Valdem is very wide, evaporation is very high, you lose a lot of water of evaporation. The Gatsi Dam and some of the other dams are, are, are not as wild. So the, that, their evaporation is much lower than, than Valdem. Yeah, now, uh, practically uh, and realistically, what can you as rainwater do to make us as consumers uh, use water sparingly? Because, okay, you sell water in bulk to the Correct. municipality. So uh, 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 Jobek Water buys from you, mm -hmm. so I pay Jobek Water, yes. uh, they bill me, and that's, that, that's who. What else can be done? Because it's concerning. You've made key points. We are an arid country Correct. by nature. Yeah. We are already feeling the effects of climate change. We've seen Correct. drought over the last few years across parts of the country. Mm. That means there's not much, much rain, and our behavior is not changing. Mm. There, there, there are two things. One, communication, communication, communication. That's what we will, we are going to embark into a... a, a um, so you're going to intensify the int communication intensify campaigns, that, okay? To say, please, let's use water sparingly. We shouldn't wait for... Uh, Lesotho to have maintenance. Lesotho, or even 10%, you know. Yes. We have to intensify that now, and we are going to do that. And that's one. The second thing that we do not want to even get to, uh, but we will be forced if uh, consumers do not respond, is uh, the restrictions. We then restrict water and hold, back, hold water back in our reservoirs. And that would then translate into pressure reductions uh, throughout. Which, which bring their own problems which once you own, release water correct. again. Yes. So, so those are the two things that, we, uh, that are at our disposal. But the second one, we will do it if and only. If, uh, it's like your last resort. That, that's a last resort indeed. Yeah. That's a last resort. Okay, well, good luck and thanks for, for explaining. And, and hopefully, hopefully uh, we behave, especially between now and the end of November, while the Lesotho Highlands water is happening. And we pray, as many of us say, for rain. Of course. Because we, we, that will help everybody else as well. Correct. Yeah, Correct. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks thank for you, coming Tatumaya. through. Thank yeah. you.